The Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, is an international experiment aiming to capture the first pictures of black holes. In order to achieve its high resolution, the EHT combines many telescopes around the world to create a virtual Earth-sized telescope. Please join us in this virtual reality tour of the different telescopes in the EHT array. We are teleported to Mount Graham, about 70 miles northeast of the University of Arizona. You are standing next to the 10-meter dish of the Submillimeter Telescope. It is operated by the Arizona Radio Observatory at the University of Arizona. It is one of the three telescopes in the original EHT array and the only telescope on the continental U.S. that participated in the 2017 EHT observation. You are now teleported inside the enclosure of the 12-meter telescope at Kitt Peak, 50 miles southwest of the University of Arizona. The radio telescope is one of three prototype antennas built and tested for the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. It is now operated by the Arizona Radio Observatory at the University of Arizona, similar to the Submillimeter Telescope. We are now in Pico del Valleta, the second highest peak in the Spanish Sierra Nevada. The 30-meter diameter telescope here is operated by the Institute for Radio Astronomy in the millimeter range. It is the eastern edge of the EHT array. The western edge of the EHT is on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. With its high elevation, dry environment, and stable atmosphere, Mauna Kea is one of the best astronomy sites in the world. Among the many telescopes in this location, the Submillimeter Array and the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope are both part of the EHT Array. You can see the Submillimeter Array toward the end of the road, which is jointly operated by the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory and the Academia Sinica Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics. On its left, the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope is sitting inside a cylindrical enclosure. We are now inside the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope. The JCMT looks out of its enclosure through a giant Gore-Tex sheet that blocks the sun and wind, but lets millimeter wavelengths of light through. It is currently operated by the East Asian Observatory. Our next stop is the Atacama Desert in Chile. It is the driest, non-polar desert in the world, another excellent site for astronomical observations. Astronomers and engineers working here need to use oxygen tanks to breathe. The telescopes around you form the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. It is an international partnership among Europe, the United States, Canada, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, and Chile. It is the most sensitive telescope in the EHT Array. Not too far away is the Atacama Pathfinder experiment. It was built and operated by the European Southern Observatory, the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy, and the Ansala Space Observatory. It is the largest submillimeter wavelength single-dish telescope operating in the Southern Hemisphere, and is also part of the EHT array. Finally, we are teleported to Antarctica. The South Pole Telescope is a 10-meter diameter telescope located at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. It was originally built to observe the cosmic microwave background from the Big Bang. Stewart astronomers Dan Moroni and Jun Han Kim led the effort to make this telescope part of the EHT array with a new camera. This is the end of our virtual telescope site visit. We hope you have enjoyed your tour.